Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at uh, Pythagoras theorem and just finding hypotenuse, the very basics of it. All right, let's get started. So to do this, we got to be looking at a right angle triangle first. All right, so we've got right angle triangle, which basically got something like this. Um, and what Pythagoras theorem states that is if you have one of the sides squared, a squared plus b squared equals h squared. Now the h actually stands for the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the side that's actually opposite the right angle triangle. So this is hypotenuse. And as for a and b, it doesn't matter where you put a and b. So you could potentially have a at the bottom or b at the bottom. It doesn't really matter. So why does this work? The reality, what happens is if you take, let's say this is a, and this becomes a squared because you've got a square uh, with sides a and a. And then if you have side B, then this square becomes B squared. And if I make this into H, this actually is H squared. Now, at the moment, um, I know this is on an empty piece of paper, but what you could do is you could actually create these squares and manage to fit the two red squares into this green square. And that's how this formula actually works. All right, so basic Pythagoras theorem is you have your one side square it the other side square it it should equal to the hypotenuse side squared okay so let's do a couple of problems um, and you kind of will get the hang of it all right so in this question so let's say we've got this number here where this is going to be for example eight centimeters and say this is uh, six centimeters all right and we are asked to find out what the hypotenuse is so in this case then we would have the formula, which is a squared plus b squared equals h squared. So you got 6 squared plus 8 squared equals h squared. So 6 squared plus 8 squared is 100. So that's what h squared is. And most people actually put 100 here. All right. Sorry, I forgot the right angle tr triangle. Most people, what they, the silliest mistake they put is they actually put h equals to 100. All right. Really important to see that h squared is 100 which means h is actually going to be square root of 100 and square root of 100 is 10. So in this case, this is going to be 10 centimeters. Also, guys, one really important thing to notice is that hypotenuse is always the longest side in a right angle triangle. So if you get an answer in here for hypotenuse that's less than 8, you know you've done something wrong in your calculations. So it's always a good idea to actually go and have a look at your calculations. All right, let's have a look at another example. This one I'm going to put as 12 centimeters, and this one here is 5 centimeters. Now, I know it's not accurate, but I'm just doing it roughly anyway. So to do this, I've got a squared plus b squared. Obviously, I'm looking for hypotenuse is equal to h squared. So in this case, I've got 12 squared plus 5 squared equals hypotenuse squared. So I can say h squared equals 169. h is equal to square root of 169 which equals to 13 centimeters. Cool, so that's a couple of basics in Pythagoras, and we'll have a look at one more problem before calling it. Okay, so this is kind of uh, asking you to think a little bit more. Uh, in this one, what I'm asking you to find is the perimeter of this shape. All right, now to find the perimeter, you start from one end. Uh, let's say you start from this cross here, and you kind of like just go around and just measure all the distances all right but the problem is we actually don't have this distance here okay so we're going to have to figure it out now what we could do is we could actually create a right angle triangle all right we're going to create a right angle triangle like this now how do we find the sides of the right angle triangle well let's have a look at the first off i'm going to look at the base all right now the base here this part is 10 centimeters and I also know that this part is actually 6 centimeters if that's 6 centimeters then the light blue part here is going to be 4 centimeters and then now let's have a look at the height the height here is 10 centimeters but this part here is 4 centimeters which means if I have 10 on this side and I have 4 on this side then the other part must be 6 centimeters all right, so what I've got is I'm looking at a triangle that's actually six centimeters 
and 4 centimeters and I need to work out what the hypotenuse is. So I've got a squared plus b squared equals h squared and I have 6 squared plus 4 squared equals 8 squared. So 8 squared is equal to 36 plus 16 which is 52. h is equal to square root of 52 and h is equal to, let me just work it out, all right, so it's about 7.2. I'm just going to leave it at 7.2 for now, guys. I know it's a recurring decimal, but I'll leave it as 7.2 centimeters. Okay, so to work out what the perimeter is, then I would say perimeter equals, perimeter equals, I'm going to start from that top, this corner here. So 10 plus 10 plus 4 plus 7.2 plus 6 which means the perimeter in this case is going to be 37.2 centimeters. Okay, so guys, just remember with Pythagoras theorem, uh, your formula is a squared plus b squared is hypotenuse squared. Uh, when you find hypotenuse, don't forget a square root. Uh, and also hypotenuse is the longest side in your right angle triangle. Cool, that's it for this session, guys. Thank you for watching.